This video is going to be about a fantastic location in north of Iceland, Hljóðaklettar. At the diamond circle. What I see in this is uh, abstract formations and mm -hmm. uh, I like to uh, use long lenses to uh, zoom in yeah. and find all kinds of motifs. It can also be really nice to have wide lenses too. Yeah. Because this of like this. Yeah. Headless. The cave. The cave. Yeah. The cave. The yeah. Cave, yeah. Seems like this is new. Some earthquake has broken down some rocks here, and uh, so these formations I haven't seen them before. No, I did see another color. I like when it's green tree in the cliff. Yeah, some vegetation. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing to be alone here. Yeah. The whole valley and we're alone. No There's one nobody is here. here. No. Why is that? <laughs> There's no one as crazy as you, darling. <laughs> Are you sure you want to go in there? I'm not sure. <laughs> it's a strange smell here. Mm. The sheep must have been he here. Oof. This is nice. Green stuff on the wall. Yeah, walls. wow. See how this grows out mm -hmm. from the rock. That's amazing. It's in all kinds of colors. Grey. And see this. Yellow. It's up there Pot. also. Yeah. Wow, will really you look at the light going, how the backlight goes for a. Uh, wow, okay. This is front. awesome. Yeah? I'm gonna shoot this. This is awesome. Good idea, Einar. Deo! Deo! Mm, I'm not gonna <laughs> do anything more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ding dong! Yeah, yeah! <laughs> this is really something for the macro, also, because it seems like the plants are coming out of the rocks. I'm using my macro, 105 millimeters. Yeah, 105. Mm-hmm. Mm
2 seconds, F10, ISO 64. Using a 20 mm lens, 1.8, it can go really close. And uh, I like how the backlight comes in there. There are, it's a little bit maybe strange to go to Hjoa Kletter to photograph grass or uh, plants, but uh, you, you take what you get, right? It's all about the light. It's a beautiful light there. Okay, I'm gonna show you this. This is special. It's so much bigger than it looks on, on photos. Yeah. It's a columnar basalt heaven. <laughs> this where you're gonna sing Ya Ya Ding Dong? No. You know I'm not it? from Husavik. <laughs> we are close by, so. <laughs> This is a job for uh, 1424. Yeah. It's so wide. Wow. It's, it's a big scene. It's similar, like in Reynisfjara. Yeah, resemblance. Want to see the sky, so I have to move a little bit back. Okay. The shots I like to get here are usually taken with long lenses and uh, zoom in to some strange rock formations and uh, we have a lot of, the, lot of them here. I took few photos tonight and I think they will be really nice on a big wall, similar okay, yeah. like we did yeah. from Aldeafos. Yeah. Over there, and this one. Yeah. 
this pillar. Yes. There's, a, there's a small cave, well not deep, but it's got fantastic uh, columnar basalt for abstracts. In the other side of them? On, on this side, or just you have to go around it a little bit. Okay. But uh, yeah. We'll see. And what a view here we can see. Yeah. Wow. This is what's amazing with uh, Hlodaklettar. There are always some new motives to see at every corner. Well, should we look at the yes. abstracts? Yes. Let's take that and uh, I think they're going to be fantastic. After that, we call it a day. Okay. Looking forward <laughs> yeah. to see this. It's a long walk to the car. Yeah. Maybe uh, 30 or 40 minutes. Well, quite this space. Yeah. These rocks are a great motive for uh, abstract-minded photography, yes. I would say. I'm shooting this at uh, quite long exposure. It's, um, this one is uh, 6 seconds at f5.6 and uh, I'm using 210 millimeters converter. But uh, I've also been going all the way up to, uh, well, 300 something. And uh, it's more than midnight. What time is it? It's uh, maybe 1 a.m. Yeah, 1 o'clock. Yeah. 1 a.m. After midnight. Yeah. And 
that's why we need long exposure like this. But the sharpness is incredible. It's it's really good now. Be, it's not better to have the sun. It's no, I like cloudy or yeah. shade like this. Yeah, and and the uh, rocks you can see them better in this weather than in the sunset. Yeah, actually, and uh, I don't mind long, long exposure for this. No. When we have lenses like this. I'm taking this in one by one and in uh, five seconds. Oh, uh, one by one. One by one. So it's an RT. Yes. RT think. <laughs> in, in F8 and okay. uh, 64 ISO. Okay. And I'm using 105 macro lens with uh, the adapter. Yeah. So she's now 210 millimeters. Yeah. 210. 210. That's exactly the same I was using. Well, you only have 200. And 1.7 ah, teleconverters. Okay. <laughs> That's similar. Okay, so I will copy you now. I'm going to use F8. Okay. And, uh, to make the histogram feel good, it needs uh, 13 seconds. Bam! I like this a little bit more to the left. The, uh, yeah, then it's dark. Uh, yeah. If you go all the way to right, you're gathering the. Uh, well, I have it almost there, not quite. Oh, this looks good, this yeah. histogram. Let me see the history one. Yeah, this is perfect. Yeah. Yep. It is to the left because we are photographing black, black or why. dark mm -hmm. rocks. Yes. I'm trying something new. It will be interesting. What? This is a location we cover in our book, Photographing Iceland. Yeah. And uh, we cover there also how you get here, destination, and... Uh, nearby places. Too. Nearby locations. Yeah. What's great yeah. about this is this new road. It's a kind of a revolution for this area because you can drive uh, in a circle, mm -hmm. Husavik, yeah, yeah, ding dong. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where the Whale Museum is and everything. You can go to uh, Gatanov, the rock, which we also cover in Photographing Iceland. Yeah. The book. It's a really nice place, Gatanov. It's, it's great, yeah. And uh, you can go to Tjernes, where you can see puffins, everything like that. You can go to Ausbirgi, where you have these strange landscape formations, also made by the it's same river. Similar, rivers. Yeah. but it's. Yeah, it's also made by Yukosavjöllum. Of course, Tumivat, mm -hmm. where you have Dimmuborgir, and you have Klasar, you have Kverfell mountain. Lots you have of birds. Lots of birds, you have everything All there. kinds of birds so there. You have Kverarund, and uh, now another new road, which is also going to be a revolution. It's uh, either ready by now or is going to be ready. That's uh, a road from Mývatn to Þeistarækir. To Þeistarækir. Yeah. 